Welcome to the Sullivan Library at Dominican College. Today we will look at Google Scholar, which is located at scholar.google.com. This freely available service will help you search for scholarly literature across the web and includes millions of citations with occasional full text links available. Examples include journal articles, academic books, court opinions, and theses. You might find it useful to look at the settings page for Google Scholar. As you can see, you can change the setting for how many results per page you will see, as well as force Google to always open a result in a new tab. This helps prevent you from closing the wrong tab and losing your Google Scholar search. You can also tell Google to show RefWorks links for exporting citations if desired. Click the Save button below. Let's run an example search. Night shifts cause stress for nurses. Note that the first two words are in quotation marks. That tells Google to search for all items which have those two words together in that specific order, as a phrase. Click the search button now. Looking at the first result, you can see that 498 other items have cited this article since it was published. If you click the link, you will see those articles. You also have a related articles link to see other similar articles. You can see that this article was published in 2001. If you want a specific date range, look on the left side for date options. Below the date options, you can see that patents and citations are generally included. Citations are records which Google Scholar did not find directly, but only indirectly from other items references to it. This sometimes happens, especially with older articles. Generally, you can leave citations included. On the right side of the article, you can see a full text link where available. Sometimes you will see an HTML link, sometimes you will see a PDF link, among others. As mentioned previously, most articles do not have a full text link in Google Scholar. Note that sometimes the full text link comes from the publisher themselves, in this case, oxfordjournals.org. Other times, the full text link can come from a completely different source. Feel free to click on the link to open the article. In most cases, the link will work. Some tips. The best way to search Google Scholar is to have an additional tab open to the Solvent Library Serial Solution Database, which also has its own YouTube video. It is called Finding Electronic Full Text with Serial Solution. If you check Serial Solution and we do not own the journal for the year you need, you can submit an interlibrary loan request, which also has a YouTube video called Request a Book or Journal Article We Do Not Own. Additionally, there are some extra things you can do to narrow down your search. The first is to select the arrow on the right side of the search box. If you want more advanced searching methods, the best way to see the help system for Google is to find the help page on Google itself. So go to google.com and search for Google Scholar Help. Click the first result and then look at, among other pages, advanced search tips. Finally, it should be noted that Google Scholar does not have a peer-reviewed limiter. If you wish to determine if an article is peer-reviewed, you must first determine what journal it is coming from. In this case, the second result is coming from the Work and Stress Journal. Then take that journal name to EBSCOhost and select the Serial Directories database near the bottom of the list. This is the database's page, which is libdb.dc.edu. First, I select EBSCOhost, then I select EBSCOhost Web, and then I look at the bottom of the list for the Serials Directory database. This database will tell us if this journal is peer-reviewed or not. Paste in the journal name and click Search. Look at the record which comes up. At the bottom of the record, you should see peer-reviewed yes. If you do not see this, this means that the journal is not peer-reviewed. We at Solvin Library hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or contact the library's front desk at 845-848-7505.